hello guys welcome to my new course in this course i'm going to be showing you a step-by-step -step detail on how you can use autocad to manually generate or to edit reinforced concrete structural detailing this is a complete guide that is going to show you the step-by-step -step process to detailing reinforcement you are not just going to be seeing how to detail it but i'm also going to be showing you how to pair, prepare other stuff like bar bedding schedule how to place your structural drawings how to correctly position your work so some of the content in which i'm going to be going through in this course include slab detailing so under this slab detailing we discuss solid slab we discuss slabs with openings then we also discuss irregular shape slab i know most of you are conversant with rectangular shape slab then we talk about beam detailing different kind of beams the l beam the t beam the rectangular beams and other forms how you can detail them cut sections and also prepare bar bending schedules we talk about column detail depend on the number of floors you are working with you are going to detail columns, cut sections, and also preview your work. Then, under the shear wall detail, shear wall is a very important component of a building, especially when you are talking about high rise building. So, in this course, I'm going to walk you through how to generate your elevations for shear walls, how to place in your reinforcement, and how to call the reinforcement out, correctly detail it professionally then we move to the foundation part under the foundation we discuss simple foundations then we also discuss generally the shallow foundations we talk about the path foundations we talked about the combined foundation which other means you can say combined footing Then we also talk about raft slab detailing so under this i walk you through the step-by-step -step process on how you can generate your detail manually and also to edit softwares i know most of us are used to working with softwares like structural engineering softwares to produce details like etaps proto structures as the case may be so in this video i'm going to show you how you can edit this detail generated from any kind of software you are using then how to make it more professional are more presentable finally to end the course we'll be talking about retaining walls and staircase detailing i know this is very important especially to structural engineers so the retaining wall we are going to be looking at is going to be a cantilever type then we also talk about different type of staircases where to use them how to create your staircase layouts before we now explain in detail how you can detail your staircase reinforcement this is so exciting uh, and i'm sure with this content we'll be so much interested in having more in-depth knowledge on this see you in the class